Our staff's blatantly high. <laughs> Our staff gets high. They get they're yeah. fucking hippie, dude. He's showing his ass. <laughs> He's high and showing his ass. High off his ass. And he, he was, was a smart Alec. <laughs> <laughs> Good worker, but he was Always high. Always high and a bit of a back talker. But other than that, he's... He's good. He's a good boy. Noah does a lot <laughs> behind the scenes. Noah does a lot, dude. I'm like a Russian pimp. I just drug addict the people who work for me. Yeah. And slowly, like, here you go. <laughs> Chop up some clips. Here's oh, a gram. Man. Here's a nug. <laughs> Do the clips. Damn. Have you been... Have you been... Have you been the plug, dude? Are you Matt the plug? And I watched Love on the Spectrum. And I was convinced... Bro. I was convinced I was autistic. I was watching that show high and I was just like... Regular Australians are just like tan, hot people. Yeah. And then if you're retarded, you just look exactly like me. If you don't look like a model, it's no, dis- <laughs> it's no either, delineation. Dude. Pale, <laughs> frumpy motherfuckers that stayed inside. If you haven't seen it, it's called Love on the Spectrum, and it's, uh, but it's just a show, a documentary following uh, autistic Australians. But the one at the the costume party. Oh, the, and the then Comic-Con? they just put them outside, and they talk about it. It's like a fucking nature show. They're like, oh, she may have found a mate out there and then they put him outside and made him talk he didn't you know his autism kicked in hard and he couldn't she was like i'll i'll lead it do you like cats or dogs and he's like oh i saw that when she was like i have a cat he's like do you have a cat and he's like yes yeah i do yes (laughs) it was like holy shit yeah it was very uncomfortable and then it's like that guy i don't know if he got paid and now his family just has to be like, holy fuck, dude. He was, we just sent him to the dance. He ended up on Netflix. Yeah, like having like a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, being on TV, just like, I have a cat named Gertrude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Like, holy fuck, Yeah, it was, that was probably one of the most uncomfortable parts so far. It was he, like, he mean. He freaks out. And he just goes like, oh, yeah. Oh, then, yeah. <laughs> that was the best part. She's like, should we go inside then? He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. one dude's a real Michael, I think is his name. That guy fucking rules. I love that guy, man. That guy rules. He's like, when I pass away, <laughs> I want people to approach my wife and say, nothing made him happier than his wife. Dude, he... And the parents are like, what the fuck? Dude, slow down. Dude. This is your first... Dude, that if is like, that one dude finds a bay on the show, basically, he's already practicing. It's like, and she will be my queen. <laughs> yeah, dude. God damn, that show. That's... Yeah, I was, I was, I was binging some Netflix. That's going to be a one season done. They're going to do that. No, that's and then, a fucking hit. Dude. You think it's going to be like a Seinfeld? That might be a Seinfeld, dude. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it is a spectrum. So some, oh, of, them, dude. some of them don't have it that bad. Don't get kinda, me started on that one guy. I'm, I got that one guy in my scope right now. That one dude that's a real, dude, real like, Casanova. I love your body. No, the yeah. one guy who's like, I love your body. I'm like, one of you. I think, I think the dude's kind of faking it a little bit. I think bit. he's faking it for those tits. Yeah, I think he's faking for There's sure. All tits, tits. I was, I was watching, I was watching it, and I was just kind of like, you know, this dude doesn't have this. My, you know, how people have Gator. I have an all. My all star is pretty good. Mine went off the hook when fucking Hannah Gadsby claimed it. She, yeah, dude, she claimed it, and I was like, come on. Is now. there an autistic revolution in Australia right now? There must be. You must get decent. I mean, you're getting shows. You must get some clout for autism in Australia. Yeah, I mean, autism's hot right now in Australia. <laughs> It's so in. They have to change the name to Australia. Australia. <laughs> but yeah, man, I I'm a big Australia, fan. Australia, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> they understand like the point. Like, you want to be on TV? They're like, yeah. They're like, do yes. you understand? Yes. Do you understand what's going to happen? Yes. I mean, I guess anyone takes that risk. You're on TV. Someone might clown you. But True. it's like, uh, I don't know. I I I think it's a honeypot. I think this whole thing's a honeypot to catch alt-right podcasters and be like, oh, they made fun of Love on the Spectrum, take them down. It is this show that it's designed to be... It's a trap, dude. It's a trap, dude. Because it is such a nice, sweet show that making fun of it is bad. It is so fun. When you watch it, it is so funny. Also, when they show these people, do they have to play that music? Anytime they like show an autistic dude like walking around, it's like plong, plong, plong. Like this music while this guy's just going about his day. Like, I'm not gonna lie. On, that man. guy's kind of fraud. I didn't want to say it, but it's like I watched that and I was like, I think this dude's you fucking, think he's fraudulent? I think he's in autism for the wrong reasons. <laughs> he's I think he's just trying to get ahead. <laughs> you don't think it's for the love of the game? <laughs> I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think he's just seeking fame through Tism, dude, like all the other Australians right now. <laughs> Fuck! What are we doing right now? And it's just like I got I got to talk about SpongeBob for twenty five years. Uh, but dude, it's like <laughs> it's like living with a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I might have missed I think it. You might, I think I'm too Phil, far ahead. Phil fucking bullied me off the Netflix on that. He didn't want to watch it? I was kind of like half watching it. And then he was like, what the hell are you watching? Because he just saw like a date. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. Put the golf on. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I did Legion of Skanks last week. Absolute unit, dude. I was a balloon in that. Really? <laughs> dude, I needed to take some time off. And you were Mr. Cool down there, too. I was I was Mr. Cool that night. Mm-hmm. Once you're, dude, when you're a big dog like that, you have to be Mr. Cool. True. It's tough to, like, publicly be a unit and then also be like, no, I'm, t- I'm going to take it easy. True. Everyone, yeah. everyone knows there's no moderation. Yeah, nobody talks about that. Units are pretty much pressured into extreme behavior you have all to the be, time. You have to. If you hand like a unit a beer and like chug this, they're like, I have to. I have to. Ah, this is no. my role. Yeah, I have. There's no. I have to do this. In theory on spontaneous human combustion is that people are in ketosis. Yes. And bo- <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. You gotta start doing that to people. <laughs> yeah, just while they're talking. Yeah. <laughs> people you explode. Make ketones and you I think that's explode. what happened in Beirut. I think <laughs> there was a whole bunch of people on, in keto at a disco and they exploded. Actually. Really? What happened? Beirut? The disco you got You didn't bombed? see that? I, I saw the headline, but I was I had to look into no, the uh, M&M fire, riot. Apparently it was a fireworks factory, oh. but... Um, Slash nightclub? I don't know. It was like a waterfront fireworks factory if that's what it was what in, in which case like even if someone was playing like sim city i'd be like why the fuck would you put it there <laughs> dude the brat came out and is trying to say that eminem never had sex with mariah carey but he met her and came in his jeans <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> but Not we, we had no topic Not the sidebar oh, we're talking about australia's autism explosion <laughs> Damn. And they have kangaroos. You'd think autistic people would fucking love kangaroos. It's like a good, weird animal. I saw some kangaroos. How'd you feel? This weekend. You saw kangaroos this yeah, weekend? Dude, I was surprised. Uh, Brittany took me to the safari park at Six Flags. <laughs> dude, that's a fucking nightmare, man. Because you're usually... You, <laughs> I got a surprise. I was like, all right, cool. Oh, that's... She drove me to the sucks, safari park. Dude, that sucks. Like, well, dude, let me just see. I hate when bays are rule Let me see if I can communicate. And then what? they turn on you. They side with the rules over you. It's They'll crazy, get mad bro. at you for breaking the rules. Dude, it's it's unbelievable. I, just, there, I, was, I was actually pretty close to a monkey, and I wanted to just, like, say what's up. Wasn't what were you going to do? I was going to just try to make... Like, you see a dog, you make noises, try to do, like... Or just like you communicate with this. I was gonna go like, and like see what if it would like come, come move towards me. But she was, why? What noise was that? I don't know. I'm just making like oh, wild just random yeah, noises. Yeah, noise of the wild. <laughs> Shit like that. That might have worked. That grab a monkey's attention. The Safari, safari Park. I had eaten my weed ice cream, and I, if I'm too stoned, I can't go to bed. So I was <laughs> so I was up late watching Love and Autism. So I was or Love and you the went on an autistic date. So I. <laughs> you know, <that's, laughs> It's a fucking zebra, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I suppose, yes. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. The kangaroos are being lazy. <laughs> the kangaroos are lazy, Mom. I told them. You have to stand up, kangaroos. None of this, you know, sleeping junk. Dude, yeah. What, yeah. Time? what time in the day was this? Noon. Man, that midday. would fuck me up. It's midday. I was, uh, it's midday. You I watched Hell or High Water last night. He's I been was, talking like a cowboy. <laughs> Yeah, I was out that night raising hell, and uh, I'm Comanche, dude. Old lady woke me up. I'm a Comanche. You're, you're the actual chief from the table. I'm Comanche. That was pretty funny, man. That guy in the casino being like, "Chief." Oh was yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah. you, dude. Yeah. Are, would, are you allowed to be like that outwardly racist in Texas? Yeah, probably. You see a Native American, be like, "Chief." I mean, if you're if you're a rootin' tootin' son of a bitch cowboy. like that guy, if you're a cowboy. I was gonna say yeah. we gotta lose weight, dude. We gotta get slim. Who, cowboys, you and me? both of us. <laughs> cowboys are slim, dude. Fuck cowboys, dude. We're if we robbed a bank and like, what they look like? Guys like not cowboys. You know who they looked like? Uh, yes, dude, I was, dude. I was, I was. You might be Australian. <laughs> you legit might be Australian. You might have Australian. <laughs> you might have Australian. You might be. This this be Go, short. Yeah. When I was at my fattest, most depressed, right after I quit football, I was yeah. about three hundred twenty pounds. <sighs> Big dog. Yeah. I was back at home. I just quit Elon. Mm-hmm. Well, failed out. Uh, I was, I went to get the mail and then when I was walking inside, 
I rolled my in the front yard, dude. Rolled my ankle on the sidewalk and fell into the front yard. What were you wearing? What were you wearing? It's just I was wearing a Rude von Nistelrooy jersey t, so a Netherlands t-shirt, so it was like bright orange. <laughs> and then, yeah, well, I remember I fell on my hands and knees, which makes it funny oh. to roll your ankle and then fall <laughs> straight down on your knee, like scrape your knee. My knee, I can't hide it. My palms were yeah. gashed up. I, I have had- scars from fat falls, dude. <laughs> I just have scarred up hands. <laughs> fat people like cats. They just land on their hands and knees. <laughs> when I fat fell in the front yard, I took it in. Mm-hmm. I let A lot of people don't have that in them to let darkness just consume them. Yeah. I fell and stayed in the tabletop for a second. <laughs> I remember it. I stayed there for a second just like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I dropped the mail. They should, like, do, they should do this. They should do a fat superhero. You know, when superheroes drop down, they land on like one yeah, knee with their fist. Just have a fat superhero <laughs> fucking slam the table. Forward and just like, oh. <laughs> you have to, like, dude, imagine if your grandparents be, were like, Shane, here on a public forum, like, here's how we think about race. Go for it. You'd be like, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Just be my grandma being like, I don't like that Tiger Woods. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> There's something about him. I don't, I like all the other golfers. <laughs> it's also funny how... R.I.P., dude. Oh, oh yeah, true. R.I.P. She did one. fucking hate Tiger Woods. <laughs> it was so funny. I mean, it was in 90, 97, I think, when he started blowing was up. Was before sex crimes? Or not pre. Sex crimes. Oh, was she hated him pre, pre being a, a, a... You know, he was a worth flander. Being exactly who he should be. Yeah, being a flander. God, I can't believe I was gay about that. Tiger that might Woods. be my biggest regret. Really? Is like being like, man, fuck Tiger Woods <laughs> for him having oh, sex. You were, you, your fucking, your grandmom laid down the emerald tablets for you. I she, know. She laid She's down. Like, someday, son, you will hate Tiger Woods. <laughs> you won't know why until it is the prophecy, revealed. The prophecy speaks that one day will be a black golfer. <laughs> There'll be a and Nubian golfer. And it's like, going to ruin your day <laughs> <laughs> for no reason while you're just hanging out. There will be a golfer from Nubia. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> what will he do in the sand? <laughs> yeah, the uh <laughs> you like so if you have a kid, you know, you raise them in America, from the time they're like six, you're gonna start being like, never forget the atrocities. Yeah. It's like that's a lot for a kid to handle, dude. He's trying to like fit in and be cool, and it's like never forget the atrocities that these people. Yeah, like. we. Well, I didn't really experience it, but I heard about it, <laughs> <laughs> and now you're hearing about it. So I immediately downloaded the book and listened mm-hmm. to it. I'm like halfway through it already. Did a lot of driving last night. Yeah, bro. The Comanche were. You want to talk about some bad hombres? Were they really, bro? Every time I listen to people talk about. It's crazy. If you do any research into actually what Native Americans were doing, mm-hmm. it's nuts. You'd run into this tribe of dudes that were living like cavemen. Yeah. And they'd be rowdy, dude. Obviously, they're going to fucking throw shit the at tees, you. The T levels are high. T levels are out of this world. I mean, dude, I was, you know, up until a certain age, if I went to a movie theater, I would throw shit at people. Like, I would sit in the back <laughs> and throw candy at the screen. Like, pretty much, pretty recently. Yeah, that's actually very funny. You, sit in the you back. get a gummy bear stuck on there? Oh, Come dude. on. Or if you sit, you sit in the back, and as soon as it goes all dark, you just go, whoom, and you wink, and it goes, whap, and you hear it just go, pop, 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 pop. I would always try to fart as loud as I could at the quiet parts in a movie. That's like, best. if you can anticipate a silent part. Dude, it's the best. That's very Comanche of you. That pretty is. much Comanche. enemy of everybody. Dude. Everyone Lord of the Plains. Time. Lord of the Plains. Dude. Bro, let me let me break this yeah, down. Break for down you. the Comanche. The Comanche fucking rule. Mm-hmm. They absolutely rule. They're ugly, short, shitty people yes. that everybody crushed. So they came over, you know, historically on the land bridge. The, mm-hmm. the, that's where, you know, how all people came to sure, yeah. North America. The Bering so Strait? Uh, yeah. So they were up there. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> uh, so they were. Uh, <laughs> So they were up in the Rockies. They were up in the mountains. And then just forever they had been pushed down because they sucked. Yeah. Comanches, of everybody, were like, even amongst other tribes, they were known for their bad hygiene. They sucked. <laughs> they were short. I didn't know that. They I were losing. Comanches were like no, jacked, Comanches ripped, were not like jacked. Dude. Jesus bodies. No, they were lads. Really? Comanches were pure lads and uh, introduced horses to North America. Horses were never there. Yeah. So all these different tribes got horses. And I think the Apache were munching them. The Apache, the Apache weren't sure what to do with them, so the Apache were just crushing horses. They're munching, yeah. They're munching horses. They're chopping them up. They were. That was good eating for a little while until the Comanche, those old fucking pussies that everybody beat up forever, mm-hmm. just somehow got so good at using horses, like best horsemen in the world. 
I mean, dude, and then just if you want to go with the Mongolian theory, that's muscle that's exactly that's, what it was like. That's and then they memory. just let it rain on everybody, dude. It was their rules to torture everybody to death. Mm-hmm. If there were women, they would gang rape them and then torture them to death. Jesus, dude, they took this one lady as a, a slave and white slave, <clears throat> and they uh, <clears throat> white slavery and. Uh, <laughs> Should have a little scoreboard. Every white slave <laughs> in the crossface. What's that about? Eighteen million to one. <laughs> All right, here we go now. A little comeback. A little rally caps. Here we go now. <laughs> what about a little chatter over there? <laughs> a little chatter in the dugout whites. Uh, but this lady, she was pregnant when she was captured. As soon as she gave birth, they wait the white lady. Yeah, she's yeah, in it. Two. True. Ahead. Technically, that was two. two. Boom. <laughs> Got another one. Yeah. Comanche were mean little dickheads. Man. Everybody else. Dude, I'm so fired up on Comanche right now. Yeah. They ride they, they they were the ones who would like ride on the side of the horse when they were in battles. You know what I mean? Where like, you ride on the oh, side like, and shoot. Yeah. Dude, they fucking ruled. Fucking yeah. I was listening Perfect. to fucking uh, War on the Run and it's mm-hmm. very dry. It's very like they left camp with three satchels oh, of fuck. blueberries, six gunpowder sacks. Count eight. Me out. Probably, it's oh. it's a lot. It's a lot to listen to. But then this one's just purely like, they did the same thing though. The lady who got was a slave to the Comanche, she beat the fuck out of the one lady, and they, the the Apaches or the Comanches just surrounded her and were like, sick. And then she beat the shit out of the old lady who was also her master, and they were all like, all right, you're pretty chill. You can come hang out with us, <laughs> dude. They did have that. That's like a common string. Like if you were a Native American slave, all you had to do was while out. If someone, yeah, if I was to be accosted on the if reservation, you get hammered at a casino. I should just start fighting people. If you're at a casino and you, you know, the, the lights start disorienting like the Mohegan you, Sun, yeah, and then you get captured, <laughs> you get captured. <laughs> you, can cap- you can get captured. You there. actually, you are, yeah, you could technically get captured. Yeah, bring you downstairs. True. You should immediately so, swing. And if you're I'll at a casino and you're drunk <laughs> and uh, you happen to you happen upon a security guard, <laughs> swing upon him. Dude. They'll do nothing but respect. Well, like, dude, you rule. That's awesome. Here's here's five hundred and chips yeah. back out there. Like you're one of us. Now. My driver told us that his son was dating a, an Indian chick with huge tits, and I was like, damn it. He's like, yeah, See, they go all there. Fucking they smoke, bus drivers rule. Smoke weed on the reservation all day. He's like, my son has it made. His girlfriend has big tits. She's a Native American. Get the hell out of here. She used to <laughs> fart and blame it on the transmission. She's like, must be the transmission. What were you doing up front, smelling farts? I used to, me, my cousin, me and my cousin were we were sentenced to the front seat for the entire oh, year. Oh, nice. Third I was day. afraid that you sat there, and I was that was going to change things for you and I. No, nah, bro. I had to sit there. I was like, I was so it's cool on the bus. They had a Hannibal Lecter me in the front. We used to go. I used to go on the bus, and then like me, just to sign out the bus driver, we would like look up, and when she looked in the mirror, we'd look down, <laughs> <laughs> look up, and looked, and then she's like, Matt and Pat, I'm not messing with you. Get up to the front. Yeah, they got that big. I haven't even thought about that thing in forever. Yeah, that dude. giant thing, so you can look at all the fuckers in the back. Chuck the you like Chuck Bird. We like Mike. Yeah, one of my yeah. co- two of my cousins got kicked off the bus for throwing bird. We got kicked off. Giving chucking birds was sick. Napoleon, I used to do Napoleon Dynamite with an action figure on a stick. You would do down. that, yeah. Did and then when you saw it in Napoleon Dynamite, were you like, oh shit? Yeah, it's kind of like, oh shit. I didn't, I didn't know. I, I thought that. I came up with that. No, apparently, it's a problem. I would have thought thing. you came up with that if I watched you do that, dude. It's pretty <laughs> sick. Do you, do you know anyone who got pussy on the bus? Um, what type of pussy are we talking here? Fingering. Fingering on the bus. I'm sucking going tit. blank on sucking it. tits. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I don't know. See, that's the problem. I don't know if I did. That's how, like, rock and roll my bus days were. I yeah. just know people around me got pussy on the bus. I could have. I don't know. I don't think I yeah. did. I don't actually. No, I'm going to say I don't think I got pussy on I think I. I smooched on the bus after a field trip to the zoo. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, it was big time. That's getting funny. hard Getting hard now. Yeah, man. Touching a pussy on the bus is like. No, smooch. smooch I'm the same. Like, please, please. I, th- I think I touched pussy on the bus. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pussy lie. Ah, that sounds like a pussy lie. That sounds like something you would remember. Trip. I remember a kiss. I could be, yeah, I could be stealing pussy stories from my cousin. My You're co- stealing pussy. My cousin definitely touched pussy on the bus. I'm not, I'm not going to. Does he get like discounts at Annie Ann's now? You're stealing, <laughs> you're stealing pussy valor. <laughs> I don't know. First time I touched pussy, I was at the uh, farmer's market. An actual dude that fingered pussy is going to approach you with a cell phone. Sure. Did you finger pussy on the bus? Dude? You're like, yeah. He's going to be like, what was it like? You're like, well, I was 19. No. Oh, He's like, uh, Nobody was fingering pussies on the bus that year. <laughs> uh, they they nail Australians. Australians always steal valor. They, they got to let them do it, dude. Let the boys do it. They're at the True. mall in full regalia. Oh. And you have the audacity to approach an Australian and be like, you didn't serve. Yeah, Let man. the boys have fun. Draft the, aut- yeah. the autistics. Automa- they'd be, dude, I mean, just for, the, you know, just like some Rudy action. 
Yeah, set we, up, up, set up we like got a, ISIS on the run. Send them in. Get a sack. Yeah, dude. Send them yeah. in. <laughs> Look, we're winning, dude. Why don't you do it? Take a shot. Take a shot, dude. Okay. Press, press this button. I mean, dude, you're talking about drone strikes. That would be... That'd be crazy. Get some of those boys on the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you'd hear would just be like, who, live, aye, aye, who lives in a bar? I call like, what the rap? <laughs> yeah, that'd be their fortunate son. <laughs> be a drone playing SpongeBob. <laughs> I, I I suppose you have to die then. I, <laughs> these are the rules. Sorry, you're actually dead now. Thank you for joining us. Go to patreon.com slash MSSP or something. Like, I don't know. 